Karen, and where police are currently conducting a search uh, at his home. And uh, this follows a two-hour standoff between the former CS and detectives after Chesa denied them entry. Seth Olale, I hear that the detectives had to jump over the fence. Is that accurate? Yes, you're right, Olive, and this is because Rashid Chesa simply refused to uh, accept, or rather accept, uh, refused to uh, allow access for the detectives to enter his home here in Karen, and they had to wait for about two and a half hours in order to just decide to jump over the electric fence and gain access. But as soon as they were in the compound, uh, Chesa did come out, and he was officially served with that such a, uh, such warrant from the court. And thereby, after we. So, Brian Haimba, who is Rashid Chesal's lawyer, arriving here in Karen, and the moment he arrived, the detectives, together with Rashid Chesa and, of course, his lawyer, Brian Haimba, accessed the house. Now, the search warrant is ongoing. But again, like you mentioned earlier, there was a standoff here because uh, the police managed to come here at about uh, moments after 9 a.m., and they wanted to gain access into the compound and into the house. According to them, they are supposed to look for vital uh, documents that will assist them in their ongoing investigations. But that was not taken lightly by the occupant of the house, who includes the former CS, Rashid De Chesa, who insisted that his lawyer has to arrive here uh, before he can allow the detectives to enter his house. But the police could not wait anymore, any longer, and they chose to jump over the electric fence, which is just behind me here at Karen, and that led to Kaimba arriving here very fast, and now we're being told that it's now about 45 minutes since that particular exercise began. According to detectives, they also want to confiscate some of Rashid Echesa's vehicle. Those particular motor vehicles are high-end vehicles. are being informed that up to five vehicles are right inside this particular compound in, uh, behind me. We're talking about a Lexus, we're talking about a Mercedes, a uh, Toyota V8. We are also talking about a Passat. Uh, there are about five of them. I've mentioned four, but of course, these are some of the vehicles that the police say that they are. Uh, they contain evidence and uh, some of the exhibits that maybe they are likely to present in court. But also very close sources within the DCI are informing us that some of those cars were actually acquired illegally. And so they are subject to investigations which will include forensic examination of some of the documents, patels, purchasing of a car, that is the logbook. And it will be interesting to see in the coming days whether uh, a Chesa will be allowed to, you know, have back his five vehicles. So that is what is ongoing here in Karen and of course will keep you up to speed. It is also important to note Olive and the rest of the viewers doing us live from Karen that Rashid Echesa's fraud case is also tomorrow in court. That will be the pre-trial before the anti-corruption court. But as far as investigations are concerned, the police are here mounting another operation. They have a search warrant from the court. They have served it to Rashid Echesa's lawyer, that is Brian Naemba, and that one allowed the official uh, operation in regards to searching and obtaining documents that the DCI I believe it will aid in that investigation is concerned. That is the latest here from Karen Olive.